the WWF is going to die. I know that. The WWF has cancer because of Ric Flair. Flair's going to kill it. And the kind of cancer Flair gave the WWF is the slow eating kind of cancer. It's not quick. I'm not gonna let Ric Flair kill what I created. Me. The WWF is mine. It's mine. I created it. I'm not gonna let Ric Flair kill what I created. Because I'm going to kill what I created. I'm going to kill it. I'm going to kill my creation. I'm going to inject the WWF with a lethal dose of poison. If anybody's going to kill my creation, I'm going to do it. Me. And the N.W. Oh. All right, let's get into WWF Ooh, SmackDown yeah. from January 24th, 2002. Hell yeah. This was a sweet time in uh, SmackDown. I feel like this... I don't know if you can pinpoint this as like when SmackDown was like really ramping up because it's like Brock's mm-hmm. there, everything's getting sweet. But I vividly remember the end promo of this show, the 14 promos before it, <laughs> not so much. <laughs> don't really remember that one. It's a lot of the same shit. So January 4th, 2002, this episode of SmackDown did a 4.2, which is fucking unbelievable. Yeah, really. Really wow, 4.2. That's fantastic. And compared to Raw, that's the very same week, Raw did a 4.6. So they're... Very close neck to each and other. Neck right up there. Yeah. yeah. Wow. yeah. Like Tony, what was going on on Raw? So Raw featured, uh, started off with a tag team match. We had Rob Van Dam, Taz, and Spike Dudley. EC Dub, EC Dub, EC Dub. Defeated oh, Booker okay. T and the Dudley Boys in a six I guess the draft hadn't team happened yet, right? Mm mm. Mm mm. Yeah. When is the draft? It's coming up. Though, it's right? after Mania. Uh, William Regal defeated Edge via disqualification. <laughs> I just saw a weird picture. Uh, go on, never mind. <laughs> I should enhance that. Should you enhance it? <laughs> All right, hold on. You guys, <laughs> no, what memory was it? On. <laughs> what move on, move on. Edge attack, Edge attack Nick Patrick, and it was a uh, Charles Robinson runs down and spears him, and then another ref runs down and he knocks him out. Edge they did show that on the show. Um, then Val Venus and Mr. Perfect fought to a no contest. Uh, Val Venus invites some ladies in the ring and does Val Venus stuff, and then whatever. <laughs> Oh, what? Austin comes out, gives Val Venus the middle finger, uh, says something about the Beverly Hillbillies, and then beats up everyone. Billy and Chuck defeated Kane and a big show, big, big, big show. Okay. And the Rock and Triple H defeat Kurt Angle and Chris Jericho in the main event. Well, uh, before all we get into the start of the show here, I have some observer notes here Ooh. Uh, that kind of go over a little bit of the NWO yeah, give me the coming scoops, in. Scoopsman. Yeah, I need to know the internet. What they're talking about, yeah. brother. What was so this is from January twenty first, two thousand two's observer. So this okay. is it's crazy that, that was, you can even go this Monday. far back. And you can go even yeah. further back. There's a lot oh, of really? crazy stuff here. Meltzer says, although contracts were not signed at press time, barring an unforeseen change, it seems inevitable that Hulk Hogan, Kevin Nash, and Scott Hall will return to the WWF over the next six weeks or so. Damn if it. not sooner. <laughs> now, this was three days before this SmackDown. Um, yes. I can't remember. I don't remember if these were live or taped. I think these were taped. SmackDown's taped. They so, were taped on a Tuesday, uh, right? And then it would air on a Friday. Yes, correct, so correct, 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 correct. January And that was 21st. the Monday. Yeah. That was the Monday. He goes on to say, there are several scenarios that have been talked about, but the basic idea seems to be that Hogan, Nash, and Hall would head up a group of wrestlers, which would be a renegade faction. They would be the lone wrestlers who appear on both Raw and SmackDown and on both monthly pay-per-views when the changes are made. I'm guessing he's talking about the draft. The draft, Oh, yeah. okay. While nothing is official, and even if it was, it would change at least 30 times between now and then, 
The move to two monthly pay-per-view events looks to be shortly after WrestleMania, which it does. Uh, wow. The split of talent into the Ric Flair company and the Vince McMahon company, with each getting a primetime television show and all talent except in the Renegade group, appearing on only one major show per week, delayed about 30 times since last summer. It was actually scheduled for January 21st. I like draft. that he says company, because that makes it sound like the plans for it to be WWF and WCW were still kind of there. Yeah. Instead of I, Raw and SmackDown. Th- I mean, this was actually supposed to happen... After that, the invasion. Yeah. Yeah, that's literally. exactly what it was supposed to be, WWF yeah. and WCW, yeah. but then yeah. they just did their own... This is literally the same thing. Yeah. It was actually delayed and definitely the, the week that this Observer came out. So okay. they, they actually don't even have those plans right now based oh, out really? for the... After Which is crazy because like <laughs> WrestleMania is only a few months away. So like, what the fuck? He says rumors coming out of television this week were that it had to be delayed until after WrestleMania. It might as well be because it makes little sense to break the company up into two groups and then have both groups appearing on the same pay per view. <laughs> then again, <laughs> one can say the same thing about having talent on both shows defeating the purpose of the split, which was supposed to add more jobs and give more wrestlers main event television time. He says the new faction with the Renegade group, is likely to also include Triple H. Who really? The fuck? He says, who even in the earliest scenarios last year, the split, has suggested being a floater who appeared on both shows. Really? And that the idea was strongly under consideration. <laughs> and no also way. possibly X-Pac. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Maybe Shawn Michaels as well. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Road Dog Jesse James yeah. and Badass Billy Gunn. PJ Polanco is in there too, I think. He goes on to say, while there are rumors floating everywhere regarding Shawn Michaels, the, world, the word we have gotten is that while anything can happen, that Shawn Michaels' name has never come up as a serious thought in regards to this scenario. I like that they call him the Renegade Group, so they weren't even sure it was going to be the NWO at that point then. I think it actually talks about why they didn't want it to be the NWO. Is oh, it like, um, is it a, is it a, it's not a legal thing, I'm guessing. Um, let me, uh, let me just keep okay. going see. Okay, yeah, yeah. Hogan, Hall, and Nash all want the new group to be called the NWO and be portrayed as outsiders, basically doing the exact same scenario that it sure. both increased the popularity of WCW for about 18 months, before ultimately killing the entire company. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was just... Too, uh, yeah, I was going to take a little bit here. Yeah. <laughs> that is petty, yeah. <laughs> McMahon is, at this point, against using the NWO name, both because it would appear he's recycling someone else's ideas. He's never understood the value of the outsider philosophy, even when handed to him on a silver platter, as noted already this past year with the botched invasion angle, in 2000 with the radicals arriving, and instead of being pushed when they were fresh and at their drawing power peak, they were immediately jobbed to the top guys and established at a mid-card level. And most notably in 91, when Ric Flair had arrived, never having lost the WCW, WCW world title in the ring at the time, when there was uh, a really big deal surrounding that. He is looking okay. for more of an internal DX-like group, but not necessarily <laughs> with that name. As many would say, it also has dated connotation. And Triple H said that was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Triple H said, I think I should be in this new group, and I should also be on both Raw and SmackDown. Yeah, I and should be on all shows, <laughs> and this should be DX, and I should be the leader as well. I should also win the world title at WrestleMania. That'd be pretty cool, too. So, Sean does end up joining it in, like, June of that year. Yeah, I run with I, a little hat. Is Triple H hurt a little after that? Because they um, never he, end he up doing DX versus injury. NWO. Oh, is it when he comes back? Okay. Because they don't end up doing NWO DX, which is surprising. I feel like Triple H might have got hurt again. He says, sources that would be considered fairly reliable have indicated both Hall and Nash are coming in with similar three-year deals and downside guarantees in the 700000 range. What am I Hogan's getting, deal <laughs> is said to be not close to agreed on from a monetary standpoint, but still considered an inevitability. How much are they getting, brother? Uh, he Double goes it. on to say, this has created polarized viewpoints from nearly everyone, thinking this will either be the greatest possible thing for a stale company or the beginning of the end. It could even be both, as it was for WCW, with the end result being the latter. <laughs> hey, you know that NWO killed WCW? <laughs> you hear about that? <laughs> he says, exactly how this went down is unclear. Trying to piece together a variety of stories goes something like this. McMahon secretly met with Hulk Hogan. According to a source close to Hogan, this took place on January 7th at the Marriott in New York the day of Raw. This doesn't sound like a much of a fucking secret. <laughs> <laughs> He's sorry, Bubba the Love Sponge went on his radio and announced yeah, it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Before this meeting, Nash had been told point blank that the company wasn't going to take Hall and had agreed to come in. <laughs> so they were not going <laughs> to take Hall. Sorry about that, pal. Yeah. <laughs> wow. There was another meeting uh, with most of the key decision makers in the company present that McMahon wanted to keep secret for everyone to air their views on bringing Nash 
and Hogan in. So uh, it looks like they kept they had a secret meeting to talk about bringing the NWO in. And they all said no, and Vince said, okay, I'm going to bring they him in. They said everyone behalf, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. is what everyone said. <laughs> At the meeting, it is said that everyone, with the exception of the Stephanie Triple H faction, spoke out against the idea. So the only people that were for it were Stephanie and <laughs> Triple H. Tr- hey, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> because even though Nash and Hall left nearly six years ago, memories of the low point in WWF history are fresh. It was said like 18 months ago when McMahon asked his staff their opinion on bringing Nash in when Nash claimed WCW had breached his deal and wanted to come in. There, I didn't even know that happened. So Nash I didn't know that either. got up with them when he said that WCW had breached his deal. Fuck this deal up? Yeah, wow. Uh, the response among the agents was said to be unanimous and McMahon cleverly, instead of saying no to Nash, gave him a low ball offer knowing Nash, earning $1.625 million per year in WCW, couldn't afford to take it. Uh, even though it was supposed to be a secret meeting, word got to Nash, <laughs> who then <laughs> called up McMahon and complained that he didn't want to come in if he was going to be sabotaged. It is believed that this is what led to McMahon agreeing to Nash's idea to basically allow Hall to come in, and with the planned storyline, guarantee him, Hogan, and Hall were in top positions. So when does Hogan actually get signed? Do we know? It must um, be sometime. Nash they, and Hall both it, signed over the weekend, Okay, holding off their debut into the pay-per-view in Milwaukee. Um... You think this the promo that he cuts on the show, that Hogan's not even 100% in yet? Um, this was from the 28th Observer, so as of January 28th, Hogan is not in this group right now. Oh, wow. Wait, but January 28th? So yeah, like, this, this is like January. Almost a, oh, wow. It's like almost a week after this episode, then. Right, right. Yeah, so oh, Hogan wow. isn't signed I'm sure, at this point. You know what I'm wondering? That's if even like, funnier. <laughs> if he decided to do this and drop it, and just because of the buzz about it, you know, yeah. he knew that Hogan would be like, okay, I'm in, brother, because there was so much like hype around it after the NWO Hogan logo Hogan did that on. so much in WCW, bro. This is probably exactly what he did. He said, yeah, yeah you go ahead and announce the NWO, brother. We got a deal. And then he announced the NWO, <laughs> and he goes, all right, brother, I'm going to I'm gonna need a little more money than that. <laughs> Try yeah, because exactly now, now Vince had to pay Hogan whatever he wanted. <laughs> yeah, whatever he, he had to pay whatever. Yeah, yeah. If he right, didn't exactly. bring Hogan in, then it would be not the NWO. Also, uh, I don't know when Hogan's first like official TV match was, but I do know that his first match like back with the company yeah. uh, says here, Tampa, Florida, March 1st, 2002, uh, Hogan faced Rikishi on a fucking house show. Uh, he beat what? Rikishi, but... He, he did take the stink face. <laughs> so he, Hogan's he did the first stink night face back. No, he takes the stink face. Oh, totally. he takes. I was like, what the fuck? He took it? Okay. So Hogan's oh, first yeah. night. Rikishi told him stink, stink face, brother. He said, Bet, okay, brother. dude. Yeah, <laughs> dude, that works. Dude, that that works. Does not sound, dude, d- both those things sound like a complete lie. One, working house shows, and two, taking the stink face. Yeah, he took this his first night back. I wonder if that was Vince. Let's, let's see if I'll let's see if I'll go with it. it smells like shit, brother. <laughs> <laughs> His first night back, he takes a face full of Rikishi's ass. Was he taking That's... the? Was he doing the house show loop to get ready in the ring again? Probably, yeah, because it's probably okay. getting because March first and Mania is what March eighteenth or something like that. So we start the actual show with a cold open. Flair beat Vince at the Royal Rumble. Vince said, "If I lost at the Royal Rumble, then you <laughs> lost at the Royal Rumble." And matter of fact. All the WWF superstars lost to the Royal Rumble, and all the fans lost to the Royal Rumble, too. This video is edited so weird that, like, what Vince is, is slowly this? getting more and more red, and he's talking slow, and it's just a shot of his face, and it's just full red screen. He says, you lost, too. I'm going to do something that even I'm going to regret. And it's just before, so fucking weird. Be- before that, they do the re- recap of the match at the Royal Rumble, and their faces turn gray. They, like, start out red, <laughs> and then they turn bleeding? gray. Yeah, but they they still show the blood, and then they just oh. turn it gray. Oh, well, then that's it's like sense, bloody yeah. and then gray, and then bloody and gray. I'm like, all right, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> Vince McMahon is caught up, and you gonna make me act up. You gonna make me do something? I'm gonna regret. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. You'll right see how. Yeah. You'll <laughs> see. <laughs> uh, then we hit the intro. The beautiful people. Oh. Dude, underrated uh, spot of this intro is the Kurt Angle belly to belly on Change to the Glass. Dude, Dude, that's that's so good. Glass Smackdown logo is so awesome. Fuck. Oh, it's really Yeah, whoever made that executive decision to put that clip right there that exact time should be in the (laughs) Hall of Fame. Dude, 
Absolutely. That shit's awesome. It's like the yeah, it's the biggest part of that whole thing for me. Yeah. I can't believe they made SmackDown Shut Your Mouth a, uh, a TV show. That's awesome. <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> they they show the crowd, of course, and going through all the signs. The only sign that I really noticed was one sign that said, uh, Dennis eats boggers. <laughs> <laughs> he was all that up with pride, too. <laughs> it's boggers, yeah. It's bog- poggers? No, boggers. Not boogers, not poggers. Like boggers in the chat. Boggers. <laughs> also, something little cursed that I noticed in this intro was they're showing the match graphics and they're obviously the motion graphics. I was like, oh, that's cool. But it's a completely black background it's, behind yeah, them. Yeah, what was that? There's no graphics was? on There's no that, graphics on it. <laughs> that always was? It's really I don't cursed. think so. I remember like blue shit and all like, right? I actually don't know now. Now did they I'm cro- thinking dude, twice about it. I'm wondering, did they, no, I was going to say, did they chroma key him because uh WF logo, but they didn't because the WF logo is no. still all over this show. So I think this is just early, early, early versions graphics, of that, yeah. and it just they yeah, just maybe. didn't have anything behind it. But it just looked weird, just pure black. I mean, yeah. when like, they, do even, the little, they do the little box at the bottom of the screen looked fine, you know, with the black. Yeah, that was fine. Right. Yeah, it's just but the most the, the match graphic is, is odd. Weird, yeah. yeah. So we start off the show. Rob Van Dam versus William Regal. No pyro RVD, son of a bitch. William Regal came out of a shower at the top of this show. <laughs> <laughs> No, hold on, now let's get by that. Come on now. Hold on. I'm gonna let you All right, so Rob time. Van Dam versus William Regal. <laughs> William Regal, the Intercontinental <laughs> Champion currently. Yes. William Regal knocked out Rob Van Dam and Edge with the knuckle dusters a few weeks back. Yes. Then last week on Raw, Edge used the knuckle dusters on Regal, but the ref called for the bell because Edge is bad at cheating. <laughs> Edge hit him with it and kept it on his hand while he went for a pin. <laughs> Dumbass. Edge then bumps a bunch of refs. Yeah, <laughs> and, we just and went then they go this. on strike. We're gonna have another strike. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's like throwing him around. He spears uh, Charles Robinson and another guy. They're just dumping them all. Like, what the hell? So we start the matchup. RVD dives on Regal on the outside. House show dive at, uh, immediately. immediately. Regal's still yeah, wearing yeah. his belt. And then RVD hits the RVD kick off the top. <laughs> RVD does all of his moves and wins. In a second. <laughs> That's and all you gotta say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every RVD move you can think of, other than like maybe like the Van Terminator or something. Or Van or Van 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 yeah. Van. He did so much here in so little time, and then Regal lost. So yeah. frog splash off the top. RVD <laughs> and it's wins. Over. It's non-title, and the champion just got his ass kicked <laughs> royally. <laughs> like I don't know if Regal did one move. RVD just hit all the classics, hit the five star, and we're out of here. We're so out of time. Sorry. Intercontinental you know, go. Continental Champion William Regal got his ass kicked, and then Edge said, "How about I kick your ass too?" <laughs> <laughs> Edge comes in from the crowd and spears Regal. Michael Cole says, he's not even supposed to be here tonight. I just supposed to be here. <laughs> security chases him out as Edge's music plays. Yeah, <laughs> my ring. You. Michael Cole says, that was vigilante justice. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Edge used the knuckle dusters last week, by the way, and then killed yeah. all the refs. That was justice Hell. Yeah, vigilante justice. edge is also a cheating bastard so i don't know man whatever yeah i'm out of ring <laughs> that's that fucking edge is goaded bro that's awesome man we go backstage it's oh, the very Christ. first time we see oh, vince Christ. mcmahon he is talking to himself in the mirror holding a no, cup hold on hold on hold on a second we don't know who he's talking to. Oh, that's what they try to make you. They that's tried to make you believe yes, that he was that he's talking, talking to, to somebody someone. else. Yeah. But I fucking knew he was looking in a mirror from the moment I, mean, I saw it. Yes. The first time ever. I'm well, pretty how sure else the... would we see him? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, yeah, how is it? A, it's a behind shot of his face. It shows his shoulder. <laughs> so it's supposed to be like he's looking at, it's at the, the camera. Yeah, oh my yeah. god, it's an ultimate warrior in a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be he's looking at a camera, but he's very obviously, it's a shot from behind. Like, yeah, yeah. See, I yeah. never once thought until I watched his back that, oh, he's supposed to be talking to somebody else. All he's right. also holding a cup. Sometimes he also, he sometimes he doesn't hold it though later on. <laughs> it's hit or miss. <laughs> yeah, he starts off with a cup of Gastro GTX Drive Hard. <laughs> and later as the night progresses, gasoline for the gasoline. fuels have started <laughs> just fucking with his brain because he loses his mind <laughs> as the night goes on. It gets worse. Yeah, it's, Vince uh, is telling himself that the people think he doesn't have the guts to do the thing that even he will regret. And he said, I'm going to do it. I thought he was talking to himself, not the people. Well, he says, I He's know telling what himself that the people yes. don't think oh, that he, don't have, he, that he doesn't have the, I don't have the guts. This is very confusing. <laughs> that, yeah, <laughs> they they want to make this. it out that he's talking to somebody else. I know what you're thinking. You're wrong. Yeah. You're, you're thinking, you're thinking I don't have the guts to do what I said I was going to do on Monday night. You don't think that I have the guts, the guts. You don't think, and I don't also think. 
<laughs> yeah, you actually, actually think, think. You actually think that I don't have guts? You're the wrong Pork guy. Pork chop sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> He it's says, basically this. And I it is. It actually is. You're right. You're right. <laughs> he says, you're wrong. I don't have any alternative. Tonight, I have to do something that even I will regret. I'll book William Regal to get his ass. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the WWF Slam of the Week brought to you by Xbox. The future Xbox. of com. has arrived. Wow. They showed Halo Combat Evolve. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and yeah. Halo, when I think of Halo, I also think of Rikishi's think facing the boss man. You damn right. <laughs> <laughs> A face full of ass when I think of Halo. <laughs> Big boss man in 2002 wrestling it, for the WWF. It feels weird, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. We have Rikishi versus Big Boss Man up next with Jacqueline as the ref. Yeah. So Jacqueline got her referee. She applied for a referee's license and got it. I don't know. That exists in 2002. I don't know what you go for. Yeah, I don't know what you go through to get that. Uh, I'm not really positive here. I'm looking to see how long Bossman's around at this point. Uh, it can't be too much longer. I don't think so. Uh, January 7, 2002 episode of Raw. Bossman and Booker T were defeated by Austin and The Rock. Then Bossman lost to DDP. And then the Rumble. Uh, Bossman loses to Rikishi here. Spoilers. Uh, and then Bossman returns to Jacked and Heat. Nice. Bossman beats Hurricane on the February 2nd episode of Metal. <laughs> uh, then he beats Perry Saturn. He just beats everybody. <laughs> he, just, <laughs> he won't stop winning. He loses to Bradshaw in April. Uh, and then on May 26th episode of Heat, he lost his final match to Tommy Dreamer. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, thank you, Tommy. <laughs> Uh, and then he was taken off the main roster after an injury from a motorcycle accident. Then he was assigned to trained wrestlers in OVW. He wrestled one match for OVW where he teamed with John Cena and Charlie Haas, defeating Lance Cade, Rene Dupree, and Sean O'Hare in November what of 02. Fuck? And then he was released in 03. Wow. Yeah. Thank you, Interesting. Tommy. Yeah. It's, it's still, even though I read all that, it still sounds wrong. <laughs> I yeah. feel like I made that up. That but, OVW yeah. roster is crazy. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, dude. Boss Man, Cena, Charlie Haas, Lance Cater, Nate Dupree, and Sean O'Hare. That's, that's fucking crazy. weird. Wow. I guess that's what NXT is going to be now. Yeah. Boss Man's going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> so Boss Man comes to the ring. Doesn't Boss Man bonk the stairs? Fuck. Oh, man. Come on. Dude, you got one not job. only doesn't. Not only doesn't he bonk the stairs, he doesn't even swing it around. Oh, he doesn't spin the night. He, he doesn't, doesn't spin it. Over, it. Man. No. So I was like, he's losing. Shit. I was like, he's he's losing. No wonder he got it. sent to OVW after this. Shit. Gotta remember speak- how to do it in OVW. He's like trying to figure <laughs> out the night stick thing again. <laughs> he, he went to OVW to teach Bull Buchanan how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so Jackie ends up taking the night stick. He's Give me pissed. That. He's not happy about that shit. She only puts it on the apron, though. She doesn't, like, throw it away. She just, well, she, it on the she just became a referee. She's still learning. Uh, well, so. If you get your license, you should know. If you fucking get your license to drive a car, you better not drive a car. You don't hit four people one of the way there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's actually a good point. <laughs> <laughs> There's also a nice big uh, sign with a excellently drawn ass that says, smell this. <laughs> <laughs> I thought little shitty Johnny drew that. Honestly, the first well, time I saw that, was like was Johnny in the me. crowd. Yeah, it looked like I don't know what it was, man. It was very square ass. It was, <laughs> it was you. <laughs> it was just a big dub. <laughs> uh, this match purely exists for Michael Cole to talk about the Vince McMahon angle with King. Yeah, we just needed time here. We didn't have yeah. enough time at the top. We had to talk about it here because there's RVD a sign that short. says Rikishi dumped at my house. <laughs> <laughs> That was also oh mine. Uh, so they wrestle a pretty whatever match here. Rikishi yeah. does the raise the roof in this match, which had me dying laughing because he's like really like he was getting, he's going for he's it. Going yeah. 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 And the crowd's yeah. really going crazy for it too. Boss man close on Rikishi and Rikishi does the Rikishi bump. So that's good. Hell yeah, still looks good. Rikishi then hits the bonsai drop on Boss Man. Oddly enough, the three. before that, he does the earthquake, which I don't remember him doing. Mm-hmm. He yeah, hits he the did, ropes and runs out and then leaps and then sits on him. I yeah. just assumed he did do it before. It, it seemed weird to me. This whole match is cursed, actually. This yeah. is all fucking wrong here. It's, I think this is like Mandela effect. This actually they didn't happen. They never wanted to rebrand the bonsai drop to something else for Rikishi. They just wanted to keep calling it the bonsai drop. Maybe he wanted that because it, it, makes sense. Yokozuna. it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. But hmm, interesting. I mean, his whole gimmick is I want a sluttier Yokozuna. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what that it was. Is... I, I don't know why sluttier was the word that I thought of. <laughs> uh, we have a pre-tape 
Stephanie McMahon wants Triple H to beat The Rock. Wait, sorry, one second, because I can't. Uh, this scarred me. Please, God, the end of don't this talk match. about the replay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go to the pre bro, bro. bro. <laughs> 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 Don't talk about so, it anymore, bro. Rikishi hits the bonsai drop, gets the win, then they cut to a replay. <laughs> and the replay, you know, when they cut to a replay, sometimes it'll sit, like, before it starts playing. So it's on a still image of, <laughs> for five whole seconds, of Rikishi's asshole and balls. <laughs> 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 so, so I so saw fun. this replay <laughs> and I went to take a picture for, for Twitter. I didn't even take one. I was so disgusted. I, I, I started to take the picture and I literally just pressed escape. I said, what am I doing? I, did, I, said, I definitely did the same thing and I felt it was too much. Oh, what am I doing with my life? It was too, dude, it's just a shot. The only thing in the frame is his big ass and his balls, man. There's some gooch action over there, man. It sucks. What the? I this mean, is a tape show. Why are way. you delaying the replay? Way up his ass. It's Dude, rough. it's fucking horrifying, man. Yeah, it's God rough. damn it, shit ruined the rest of the show for me. <laughs> <laughs> fucking I, asshole and balls on like what, I haven't done that in a while where I was like, where, what am I doing? That was, <laughs> like, that was the only <laughs> moment. <laughs> So, so I can only imagine the editors editing that on the show, just like yeah, they probably thought win. it was hilarious. That's why yeah, they kept probably. it. Yeah, Sorry, probably. I didn't mean to cut you off, but no, that had fine. to be known. <laughs> that had to be known. So we had a pre-tape. Stephanie McMahon wants Triple H to beat The Rock. Triple H is 100% over Stephanie at this point. He is so ready to yeah. not be a main eventer. <laughs> So Steph is like, but what about The Rock? What about The Rock? What about The Rock? Yeah. Like, shut well, up! Yeah, shut, shut up about The Rock! <laughs> the world doesn't revolve around you. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> yeah, this was from last Monday. So this is a, from yes. uh, this is what they aired on last Monday. But yeah. like, yeah, she's telling Triple H to go in The Rock's locker room and kick his ass and whatever I say you do and that's awesome. And he's like, please shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Can we please talk about something else for once yeah, in God your life? Yeah, man. Talk about The Rock and your talk dad. I'm sick of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> talk about Sean. Where's Sean? I'm supposed to be doing this angle stuff, all right? We're I'm a renegade, in. Stephanie. I'm renegaded. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a backstage segment. Lillian meets with Stephanie at the coffee table backstage. Hey, how's it going? Lillian said, Steph, you can come on my podcast and we'll talk about the problems with Triple H if you want. Yeah, I can ruin your fucking marriage if you want. <laughs> Steph said, me Dude, and Triple H are fine. Everything is fine. Lillian says, I'm surprised you're here tonight. Are you? <laughs> you're so, are you surprised? <laughs> yeah, yeah. She says, I, Steph says, oh, why is that? Lillian says, oh, because of what happened. And I'm here for you. And Steph says, Hunter and I don't have any problems. And my only problem is you bitch. <laughs> and she throws coffee on her. Oh my god. And, what? <laughs> Ste and not only that, she throws coffee on her and then does not get any more coffee. Why were you getting coffee in the first place? You're just wasting resources. She throws it on bullshit. Lillian, she falls off screen. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Lillian has 17 degree burns and no one's concerned about it. There's people in the window next to this that are not <laughs> paying attention to what's going on here. The cuts to Michael Cole in college, he says, what a bitch. <laughs> Michael Cole has frosted tips and his yellow shirt. <laughs> Even baseball yeah, like jersey. a Tommy Hilfiger WWF boot fucking leg It was a WWF New York shirt. So Taz and Spike Dudley versus Scotty Too Hotty and the Hip Hop Hippo Albert is up next. <laughs> Please say that again. <laughs> Taz and Spike Dudley versus Scotty Too Hotty and the Hip Hop Hippo Albert are up next. <laughs> Not only that, it is for the WWF tag team titles. <laughs> Taz and Spike are the current tag champs right now. <laughs> Spike what? goes down the ramp with a neck what? brace on and this smile on his face. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. I thought you'd be more excited that you can meet Stacey Keebler at 10 a.m. at the Bradley Center for No Way Out tickets. You, first off, you damn right. Second off, I'm going <laughs> right now. You, get, you are you there? You're already yeah. there. <laughs> I brought my mic in my setup. That's just a Dudleyville, right? Yeah. Hip hop oh, hippo man. Albert is sweet. hip hop hippo Albert. Yeah, I like it. Taz in his boiler outfit. Fuck this outfit. Yeah, I mean it's made even worse because he's got this like horrible like pressed on gimmick on the back of the outfit too. Yeah. Oh it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. Looks so it's shitty, rough, man. 
you know his legs are still gigantic here, and he's covering them up. It's pissing me off. So we can meet Stacy Keeler if we want to at the Bradley Center. That's pretty fucking. Yeah, that's sweet. at 10 a.m., bro. That's when I go to sleep. Yeah. So, well, I can stay up a little longer for Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> for No Way Out tickets, I don't know, man. I don't remember that show. I, being like I that. don't care about No Way Out. I thought oh, we could okay. just be, I gotta go I, to the actual show. I think you gotta like, go there. Yeah, I think you gotta. You can't just go and meet her. I think you're there to buy tickets and Dude, then you can meet her. This sucks. Okay, yeah, bro. Wow, what the this fuck? Is yeah, yeah. I'll figure out a way. Before the match, Scotty puts. His hat on Albert, so Albert is wearing a headband and Scotty's hat. <laughs> nice. Uh, so we get into the match. Spike goes for headbutt cheese on Albert. Albert doesn't <laughs> flinch, and Spike forgets he's wearing a neck brace. <laughs> Albert starts kicking his ass. <laughs> Taz hit a suplex on Scotty, and then Spike tagged in, and Taz looked at him and said, What the fuck, brother? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, bro. Just get this match over with the low god. Albert does a giant swing on Spike. Dude, this is an all timer giant swing. Oh, this so is good. awesome. Why isn't anyone wrongly counting in the audience? <laughs> One, well, back two, then, three, four, in, five, six. In 2002, we didn't know how to count. <laughs> that's yeah, that's true. true. He's swung, swang, swanged he him. He swinged swinged him for swinged. like fucking, I don't know. It felt like a whole minute. It was awesome, though. Yeah, it was. And it honestly turned out really well. The camera wasn't going like. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, it didn't make me oh, sick. It's fuck, weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's nice. Taz hits a head and arm Taz plex on Spike, and Albert <laughs> interferes. Scotty hits the worm, but Spike pulls him out of the ring before the three. <laughs> Do you like the two-man worm? <laughs> I love that, yeah, his idea of, like, helping with the worm was, like, doing YMCA with the I, worm. I will spell out the worm in, with letters, <laughs> just so you all know. You can't write it, though. Was that a fucking taunt in a video game? I swear uh, that taunt was in a video game. It might have been. I think it may have been, yeah. Are you talking about Pop Pippa? Yeah. The, the WORM taunt that he did, the hip hop. I want to say it was. Because I swear yeah, that sure. was in a video game or like a mod of it. I swear I saw that before, but dude, it was. Yeah, I, I, think, I think you're right. Also, Taz went for the Katahajime on Scotty, but Albert attacked them from behind. Very upsetting. But I got, I got my redemption it's all good. later on. Yeah. yeah it gets uh, Albert tosses Spike across the ring, tries to railroad him in the corner, but Spike hits the Dudley dog. Taz then gets the Taz mission on Scotty, pulls his ass over the ropes, and says, Good! <laughs> Yeah, Scotty is on the apron getting caught to Hajimate. He just drags him over into the middle of the ring and Scotty taps out and Taz and Spike retain. So we go backstage after this. Triple H is sitting on a couch contemplating about how PWG is running shows again at NXT. Is. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie, very excited how she fucked up Lillian earlier with yeah, the I just, I just see the thing I did with the, Oh my God, I did the thing. Did you see that? And then Triple H says, I don't care. I don't care. Please leave me alone. <laughs> I don't <Please>. care. <laughs> <laughs> and Stephanie said, "Yeah, Stephanie says you aren't shit without me, and you may love this business. My my family is this business." Aww. And then Triple H says, "Yeah, well, your dad <laughs> You're an asshole." asshole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Triple H says, "After everything your father has done to you, you're proud to be a McMahon." Says this is the same guy that when I got hurt, he's like a he said I was like a racehorse with a broken leg. Uh, Send him to the glue factory, get another one. <laughs> <laughs> he's a hurt horse, huh? Okay. <laughs> Uh, Steph says, I'm proud of who I am, and you married me for my last name. And Triple H says, nah, <laughs> not me, Come bro. Come on, man, that won't Come be. On. He said, I married you in spite of your last name. The McMahon name has done nothing for me. And Stephanie's he eyes could have fucking bounced out of her head. <laughs> it actually was about to turn into, they had to retake this like four times, it's about to turn into a shoot. <laughs> oh, really, Paul? Really, Paul? <laughs> he hit the line and everyone would start laughing, so they had to keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Triple H says, your father never thought I was good enough for you. And Stephanie says, maybe he was right. And then Triple H gets up, storms out, and he slowly comes back. He's got to hit his line. He says, yeah, well, maybe everyone else was right about you. And the crowd chants, slut, 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 slut. This, this was weird. <laughs> like, uh... I don't know what's going on here. This angle sucks. So we go backstage. The Rock is with Jonathan Coachman. God, The Rock really He's went smart. off here. Rock is just very The Rock here. <laughs> this yeah. is the infamous Coach Charleston segment. Yes, uh, it is. I didn't even know until I saw it. it was I, yeah, I, I can't even do classic. it justice, really. <laughs> the Rock starts talking about the Royal Rumble, obviously, but Coachman... Already fucking knows what's about to happen. He knows if he's in an interview with The Rock. <laughs> he's saying, we're not over. talking about. We're not actually talking about the Rumble. Yeah. So Coach looks over to the right because he is just over it already. The he's Rock already says, smirking. What in the blue he's hell are smirking. you doing? Yeah. What is your bitch ass problem? So we got something freak. else to do, Coach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you say he's going to dance after the show. <laughs> and then the Rock gets the biggest pop of the night so far. Why don't you do the uh, what do they call that? The Charleston. The Charleston. Look, looks at the camera now. 
Now that's the rock. <laughs> 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 he's like, yeah, why don't you dance with Charleston? Coach said, come on, rock. And rock says, oh, come on, rock. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Rock says, would you all like to see Coach dance the Charleston? Woo! Woo! Rock says, they believe in you. I believe in you. And the coach starts doing it. What a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> coach is getting it. Hey, he was getting, getting it. it. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn yeah, the other way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let me see that ass. Yeah, Turn around said, face for the, me. Yeah, face the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Bend over. Ah, get your monkey ass out of the Rock's camera. <laughs> he kicks him in the sick ass. sick freak. <laughs> <laughs> This I is like awesome. It. He's a freak. Yeah, The Rock that. was uh wow, man. He was so far deep into like his He bits. legit could have said anything here and it would have been yeah. the most over segment you're on the right, show. You're right. The Rock was the Bitman, man. <laughs> like the He truly, was. He was the, the Bitman. Bitman. Yeah. So The Rock says Maven eliminated Undertaker. Yeah. And then Rick Rick Flair made Vince tap faster than Shirley Temple on an ice cream sandwich. So I went back <laughs> three times. To figure out what the fuck he said, I wrote it down, and as you, I read this right now, write down? Yeah. I I don't know. I don't know what I first saw he said, but I as I look at it right now, I still do not have a single fucking idea what that fucking means. So he's definitely because this is like actually one of the lines from The Rock that I remember the most. I'm not. What saying does it. that Stop. mean? Ice I cream I can say. sandwich. I remember, <laughs> what the fuck does that mean though? He had to have used this bit more than once, right? I'm sure there's, he did. Yeah. There's no way he didn't say ice he's cream definitely, he's sandwich. He's definitely. I remember. Sweet, I remember uh, sweet Jesus on an ice cream sandwich. He's definitely done on an ice cream sandwich before. Okay. Okay. Good. Because for some reason I. Remember remember that quite a bit I still sandwich. i'm so confused <laughs> he just says stuff he's this big meme guy he just says what the fuck he wants he was lol random before lol random was Dude, a thing he's popping he's popping the boys there's somebody back there he's trying to pop them it's like yeah us doing Jesus the podcast. Ice cream sandwich. i remember that he probably had one line you, they probably do a rib you know like okay maybe you gotta get this one line in your promo please well, right after say. this he says, Jericho, you're still the biggest monkey's anus walking God's green earth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do the Charleston, man. You go, 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 go. You're going to do the goddamn Charleston, or you're going to eat an ice cream sandwich. <laughs> Rock ice cream? Is that a WWE New York? <laughs> The rock uh, that was the dessert rock ice cream after is... your DDP hamburger. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. The rock ice cream sandwich. I like that. That's <laughs> sick. <laughs> so, what yeah, is rock... Shirley Temple on an ice cream sandwich, though? You're and what does it man. mean to have faster? No, I'm fucking... It doesn't <laughs> make <laughs> sense. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I, I kept looking for Shirley Temple on an ice cream. I even Googled it. I could not find shit well, about this ice cream. faster then. Also, like, uh, uh, hey, The Rock <laughs> was... You couldn't fucking promo with this guy. How do you promo this guy? He was just... Oh, dude, my he ruined God. Billy Gunn's career. <laughs> my name's Billy. <sighs> the Rock promises that uh, this will be The Rock's WrestleMania. He, he also is. says, Kurt Angle, you get ready to roll if you smell a lot. What is, well, get ready to roll. Yeah, you get ready to roll. He's like, he's like, you get ready to roll. You get ready to roll. If you smell a lot. What the fuck? What the rock? Start choking on something. I don't remember that happening. If you smell If you smell a Coach in a constant state of existential crisis every time he has to do something with the rock. Dude, rock went to dance Charleston. and kicked him in his ass. <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> what are you doing? So we go to a backstage segment. Charmel comes up and asks Triple H if he is okay. Why is Triple H standing like that? He's so sad. He's he's so sexy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he's got one hand on the wall, one hand on his hip. He's got his ass out. <laughs> this is awesome. And then Christian walks by with his European championship. <laughs> Dicky <is> shirt. Awesome. <laughs> this is this Christian is crazy. If this, this is... Christian shows up at all out, all is forgiven. <laughs> <laughs> long sleeve shirt, short sleeve shirt, Christian here, just out of Dude, control. European title, long blonde hair, dicky shirt, black cargo <laughs> pants. <laughs> this shit's great. He's probably 135 pounds here, too. Yeah. <laughs> Christian walks by with his European championship. Oh, hey, Hunter. You know, we've all been there. 
That wife of yours got some temper, huh? <laughs> he walks away. You motherfucker! <laughs> grabs Christian and beats the dog shit out of him. <laughs> I'm. Pr- it would not surprise me if Triple H said, "Hey, can we put a segment where I just whoop Christian's ass for three minutes?" Because that's what it felt like. He beats the shit out of him too. Why the European champion? Why does he have to beat up the European champion? There's like, no come up and like Christian's not on the rest of the show. Like <laughs> Christian's not going to beat fault? Triple H in a single. <laughs> no, but like they could like Christian challenge him at least. Like have a match like nothing comes of this i don't think no fuck the european champion. a bunch of pipes fall over and triple h then throws a box of shit well, on the floor yeah. as he's walking away <laughs> all right so we go God. to another backstage segment vince mcmahon <laughs> is still talking to himself backstage no, he's talking he's to got, the people the millions he's got coffee now he's got coffee more says, gtx face the facts they're hard <laughs> bro this is not a human being here they're cold no. the facts are cruel and the facts are ever since the Rumble, Flair has assumed the position of leadership in the WWF. Under Flair's leadership, the WWF has terminal cancer. Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> What's he say? Oh, yeah. Terminal cancer. He just came up with that line on the flight. Oh, yeah. yeah I really cool. like that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Keep this Under tight. Flair's leadership, the WWF is going to slowly die. <laughs> <laughs> He says it like die. that. Die. Oh, die. You know what you have to do, don't you? You can do it. That's the you end know, of the promo. You gotta puke. You gotta puke. Huh? Weird, this is man. not a human. This is an no. animatronic. He goes, this is actually animatronic. Do it. Yeah, it's Robo stuffed Vince. <laughs> he These says, come on, you can do it. Dude, he later, like he definitely smile is at the end. devolving as a human being by the end of the show. He turns into a fucking actual animal. <laughs> turns out you should not drink casual GTA's drive hard. <laughs> Well, what about Stacker 2? That's okay. And speaking of, the Stacker 2 <laughs> Burn of the Week. With the, the world's Bugabagools. strongest fat burner. Taz and the Gabagools. <laughs> the Gabagool. It was Maven eliminating Taker from the Rumble, by the way, and then Taker hitting him in the fucking head with a chair. I can't believe this shit. Well, I guess I could believe it. Yeah, back then it was fine. So we go to Stone Cold Steve Austin versus what? Booker T. What? This is a number one contendership qualifying match. So it's not for the number one contendership. It's a match to determine if you'll wrestle a match to be number one contender. It's the a number one contender's raw. number one contender. It's an NWA women's title eliminator with four <laughs> people. <laughs> with four people. <laughs> the winner goes we'll to get, Raw. We'll get there later. Yeah. Uh, there's a sign that says, stop saying what? Yeah. Good luck, <laughs> yeah. champ. Booker T in the red trunk, Steve Austin with the gold print vest and double knee braces. I love it. Was this dubbed? Is he using Disturbed at this point? I actually don't know what he was using at this point. I feel it like was he not was. Disturbed. I don't yeah, know. No. Sure. I couldn't believe that we actually get to see a Steve Austin singles match on a weekly show. This was a like solid, long back and forth match too. Like this was just like they just had a match. There was no bullshit. Yeah, Booker, Booker and Austin had awesome chemistry together. Yeah, Booker was just, actually yeah. was on top for most of this. Too. Yeah, like you said, this is not only James. Is it a weekly match? It's a SmackDown match. Yeah, we we like genuinely have watched. I don't even know fifty something. It feels like retro. It's probably not that many, but it's it's a lot. Yeah, there's uh, not many with just straight up Austin matches, are I, there? I can't. I no. I actually, I actually don't even remember if we've watched one with he, a single. Not Steve a single match. Not a single. I think he no, comes out and, and stuns somebody and they win the title. That's how every Raw ends. Yeah, he's usually like, like he teaming a, with Taker or Triple H or The Rock. <laughs> like it's oh, never yeah, a singles tag match. Yeah, they're usually yeah. tags. Yeah, like yeah. seeing just like it's crazy because you could probably count on one hand how many singles matches he had on TV ever in his entire run. Yeah, that's yeah. true. He was always just coming out and stunning somebody, kind of promo. <laughs> Yeah, so this was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, so Steve Austin does a drop down spot, which was funny as hell to me for some reason. <laughs> uh, and then he hits a spine buster on Booker. Steve goes for the 10 punch in the corner. Booker stops him, hits a leg lariat. It looked really good there. Booker st- actually stays on top for probably like five or six minutes. Well, um, Booker looks great to here, heat. too. He's in great shape. I love the red gear. That's like my favorite Booker gear. Yeah, the stu- he actually, yeah, he's pretty over, too. So Yeah, well, I think we're going to bury him after this. <laughs> Triple H said, hmm, I have an, I- I have an idea. <laughs> I am <laughs> renegating. <laughs> <laughs> so Booker tries to put his butt cheeks on Steve Austin's leg, or Whoa. his knee, better said. Yes. Uh, but he hits his butt off the mat, and now they run into each other, and we have a double down. Steve Austin gets up. It's the Thez press, stomps a mud hole into Booker's ass in the corner. Every time he kicks, the crowd goes, what? 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 <laughs> what? Just, what? 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 It's what? so over, man. Yeah, and then the one side of the crowd, he keeps like pushing it up. Stop Please. saying what? Stop Please saying stop. what? <laughs> Please stop. He <laughs> was ahead of his time. Booker then hits a flapjack, then does a spin a Rooney, and then kicks him for a two. <laughs> <laughs> he did do that. What a it was sick a sp- combo. It was uh, starting on his back, Spinner Rooney, too, I think, which was sweet. 
<laughs> it was one of the rare spinner Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Booker then hits the axe kick and only gets a two here. Booker then, I guess, gives up and then tries to go for the stone cold stun. He's going to do your move. <laughs> also, what? <laughs> and then he hits him with the stunner. And Booker's cell here was top Dude, tier. Booker gets hit with the stunner. He's like, I don't even. He's just at an angle, slowly falling down. And Austin's like, get the fuck. <laughs> he shoves him down and bends him. It was great. It was awesome. Yeah, it was basically floating in the air. It looked really yeah. good. Here. He like That's got cool. stunned back to his feet. He turned around and then like slow fell. It's good. Booker yeah, was, and Austin Booker's pushed him work down. Right on. here was crazy. Eight weeks until WrestleMania 18. Mm. You That's ever played cool. the WrestleMania 18 video game? Uh, I thought it was WrestleMania 19. I don't know if I played 18. 18 was the first GameCube game actually, hmm. uh, and it it sucks. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's, not good. Does it really? It uh. is like so. Yeah, it's like. I don't I'm even know if I can call right it. A, I don't even know if I can call it a beta for WrestleMania 19 because it doesn't even feel like the same game. Like the controls are weird. There's like, uh, I feel like the finishers were like a not a button combo, but I remember it being like kind of complicated. Like oh, even really? picking up weapons was a pain in the ass. Yeah, like it just was not. It was hmm. not fun. Oh, man. I see it. Okay. Yeah, it was, don't look bad. No, I mean no, visually it, it but like everything it just WrestleMania 19 like makes that game look like the biggest piece of shit ever. Yeah. Like, it's weird. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's weird. I mean, I think it does have a story mode, though. Yeah, it has a Path of Champions or something. Yeah, like so, I mean, you know, if you're looking for a little shitty content. Backstage segment, Charmel is with Ric Flair. They na- they call her Charmel, too. Like, are are we, the viewers, supposed to already know Charmel from WCW? Do they think that? No, she's don't just, know. I just think she's just a backstage interview. She's just okay, like, here's Charmel. Triple H even named her during the opening, or during the earlier thing. Uh, not now, Charmel. <laughs> yeah, 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 we, don't, do. yeah. we don't really know her at this point in WWE, and, except for We don't know her with, at that she's... I don't, I'm guessing she's with Booker at this point, right? We don't know that, though. Yeah, I don't I think guess not, she, no. They were never on screen together. Yeah, but she's interviewing the nature boy. Woo! Charmel asked Rick if he knows anything about Vince being a fucking weirdo today. <laughs> I got no idea. <laughs> wait, wait, so Vince is in this arena that we're at now. This is in real time, yes. What he's doing so, is in real time. So no one was just like... What Maybe room is he in? This guy? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's That's, posting. His daughter is there. His son-in-law is there. <laughs> no one is checking on him. Vince is sitting in a room with a cup going, I'm <laughs> going to kill this company. <laughs> and everyone's like, yeah, that's, you know, that's his Vince. That's, that's our <laughs> boss. <laughs> Who's in there with the camera? And how? All, and when do they decide to show him? Like, is he, this... he actually set it up on a tripod, and that's why he's talking into <laughs> a mirror. <laughs> He's got a little remote in his hand. <laughs> oh, I see. That's awesome. Fair enough. The remote's actually in the cup. That's awesome. Oh, so it's a remote sense. cup. I yeah, see. He press a little button on it. Ah, yeah. okay. So Flair says he owns 50% of the greatest sports entertainment company in the world. He lays that on so thick that I cannot even slightly believe he means it. <laughs> How weird is that? Hearing it felt Flair wrong. say sports entertainment. I am the. 50%. He says the greatest sports entertainment. Co- he says it multiple times too. He says this is the best company ever. I love this fucking. Place. I love working here. Please don't fire <laughs> I me. Love I love you it. Paid for me. Yeah, I love. Please please keep paying me. me. Goddamn. Keep paying me, please. Rick Flair says Charmel. Also, please call me Rick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he says this company is getting bigger and better every day, and I own fifty percent of it. And you're really fucking hot, and life is good. <laughs> call me Rick. And then and he starts he, dancing with Charmel. Yeah. He just starts going off and telling you, woo, oh yeah, this is the greatest, woo, we go and get it, woo. <laughs> and he walks out and he goes, and you can always call me Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Dick. Thank you. The Rick. No. Johnson. <laughs> Thank you, Rick. <laughs> and you can always call me Rick. Woo, let's get out of here. <laughs> please fuck me. Fuck me. Kane please. and Big Show versus the Dudley Boys. With Stacy. Tag yes, team tables match. This is Kane with the titties out too. He's got the see-through titty gear. Big Show with the big onesie on. <laughs> yeah, he draws his straps early. <laughs> big, but yo, yes, uh, yeah. This is why is this happening again? Okay, so the angle here is that Kane is very dumb, and Big Show also not very smart. So great, the Dudleys are just kind of there to make sure Kane and Big Show. Looks get stupid. to that singles match, yeah. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know they started the match. Dudley set up a table on the outside and then get jumped by Kane and Big Show. Uh, the Dudleys hit the deadlock death drop in the ring, though. That was cool. That was like that. Cool, cool. <laughs> Shout out. Yeah. Uh, Show pulls down the straps, goes to double choke slam the Dudleys through a table, which uh, double choke slam as and he choke slams both of them, not with Kane. The Dudleys fend off, go for a double flapjack through the table, but Kane moves the table. Kane's going to the top rope. And Big Show says, all right, I'm going to hit the ropes. <laughs> and crotch, <laughs> crotches Kane on the top rope. 
<laughs> Just what the fuck? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, Big Show goes to choke slam Devon through the table, but Bubba moves it. Show whips Bubba into the ropes where Kane is standing. Kane dives off the apron, stomach first through a table. <laughs> that shit <Oops>. looks crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Kane just wrong place, wrong time. Uh, so the Dudleys win because Kane put himself through a table. Uh, <laughs> Kane gets up. <laughs> I love Kane. He stands up, fixes the elbow pad, <laughs> and then gets in the ring. <laughs> Gotta fix the elbow pad. Kane just wants to fucking wrestle, man. And Big Show's yeah. being a big bitch. They I don't get know what's on this guy. <laughs> he gets in Kane's or he gets in Big Show's face. They're go talking a bunch of shit. Bunch of referees in there, and then Kane says, "You know what? I'm gonna end my fucking career real quick." <laughs> he <laughs> <laughs> Kane, <laughs> Kane goes this. to do the backflip over the top rope to the floor, and he nearly just kills himself on the Dude, table he, he just went impaled. through. He almost gets Dude, impaled. By he almost it. dies. What the fuck? That's rough. <laughs> yeah. like, Whoa! All right. <laughs> big hey, they, moment. Hey, yeah. I was surprised there wasn't like a big brawl or something. Like nah, I thought they were gonna, gonna save brawling. it, brother. Yeah, I guess yeah. so. Big Show was like, fuck off. Kane was like, I win, I yeah. win, let's party. <laughs> <A> party, party. <laughs> <laughs> the Rock did that time too. Yeah, he did. <laughs> you can't fucking get in this dude's face. You just no, can't. No, man. <laughs> Embarrass you. We go to a Bad Day segment. Vince McMahon now. God damn it. Four cups deep. <laughs> he's got another cup. Yeah. <laughs> he's totally all, he's the got Castro. the cup. Got he is 80% there. complete with his transformation. <laughs> he's getting more and more red as well. I don't know if you guys do this, but somebody gave terminal cancer <laughs> to the WWL. You have to understand, this is my life. This is what I built. Nobody helped me. I did it all on my own. Someone gave cancer <laughs> to the WWF. And he starts crying. He's <laughs> bawling. <laughs> and he sucks it out. He says, okay, get over yourself. <laughs> Rick, He's fucking leave, dude. <laughs> He's going to kill you, Rick. Rick is going to kill you for real. Rick, fucking leave. This is God. It's just too damn bad. Dude, yeah, anything. Like, if you're in this building and you see this on the monitor, wouldn't you just run for no. the fucking hills, bro? Rick Flair saw this and said, and you can always call me Rick. <laughs> Rick Flair is too busy trying to get pussy to realize that he's about to die. Get in, let's go! <laughs> Vince is like, ah, I'm gonna kill you. Uh, yeah, you're gonna yeah, fucking Vince die. Vince is in there crying. <laughs> and then the rock opens up the door. Cuckoo caca on you, baby. <laughs> Vince says, oh, you made the okay. your creation? <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> Oh, it's your creation. Yeah, it's your creation. Get the hell out of my camera, jackass. No, 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 no. Dude, these are not Vince, human emotions on display. No, I don't Vince know what cries, this is. and then he starts coming at the same time right after. Vince was, Vince was what? <laughs> the coming, the coming's later. I think. The yeah, coming's later. The coming I thought he cried later, and yeah. come at the same no, time. No, no, not yet, not yet. He but you might have because then he just fell asleep. Vince is definitely <laughs> trying to get like some kind of Emmy or uh, something here. He's trying. This is a performance of a lifetime for this man. Yeah. Vince Vince goes, it's just too damn bad. And then he goes <laughs> <laughs> It's like he it's like his, his robot shit turned off. There's still on commentary. There's still on commentary saying who's Vince talking to? It's Who like, is he talking to? You talking bitch. About? He's talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> we get a pre tape, gold dust. He says, I got some warm memories. Some toasty warm memories. I'm gonna make a movie, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make, a, make a movie. <laughs> Goda says change is not his plan, but he does have a plan for an audience of one. Mm, it's all for him. Bash Day segment, Billy and Chuck were watching Gold Dust on the monitor. Yeah. Man, that guy's weird. <laughs> yeah, a little freak. <laughs> Billy and Chuck go a special handshake, and then Billy slaps Chuck's ass. <laughs> Crowd pops huge for the yeah. ass slap. I think I think Ugh. Chuck was like, Yeah, look at your gear. All this cool red stuff, and the chicks dig us too. And they do a handshake and Billy slaps his ass. All right, cool. Crowd goes, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. This guy's being okay, dude. Do it again. Do it again. What's better than that, man? Bad stage segment. Kurt Angle with Coachman. Oh, no. Coachman asks about The Rock. The crowd. <laughs> Were you just dancing? Starts chanting, what? 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 <laughs> they won't. Dude, it is like unbelievably. This is what pilled out of control here. <laughs> Kurt Angle goes, I have won a lot of gold medals. What? what? I've won many titles. What? What? Can you guys please stop saying what? 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 <laughs> they go, what? And he goes, you know what, man? This word is ruining my life. 
<laughs> what? He says, say one, one more time and I'm out of here. What? what? This interview's over. Yeah, I'm out of here. What? <laughs> okay, see ya. SmackDown is brought to you by Blockbuster, Xbox, and Clearasil. <laughs> that sounds like a Friday night for me. That is targeted. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pimply ass uh. nerds go to Blockbuster and get your Xbox games. <laughs> <laughs> what are they trying to say about me? <laughs> Targeted advertising at its finest. Trish Stratus versus Jazz. God bless. Whoa. Trish Stratus is the women's champion at this time. Yeah, she gets her ass whooped this whole match. <laughs> Dude, I remember being young and thinking Jazz was the baddest motherfucker on the earth. Yeah. yeah, and they could have easily had her be forever, but they decided no. I mean, she, here, though, this might be the best example of how they used her to make it look that way, because she just beats the fuck out of Trish this whole match. Uh, Trish tries to fight back a few times. She, yeah. she always threw the weirdest looking forearms. They were, like, exaggerated, right? She was, like, a little shimmy. Yeah, I don't know if she liked yeah. The Rock. She, I'm going to throw yeah. forearms, but I'm going to do The Rock thing. She was super safe with them. She would, like, yeah. uh, you know, you're supposed to make it look like it's a forearm, but she, I don't know, it look like she throws her, like, her... I don't even know. Like her dealt at you. It's real weird. Looking. Yeah. Um, Jazz gets an armbar on Trish and doesn't let go. So the ref calls for the match. Jazz then hits the bitch clamp on her and then DDT her. Is that what that's called? Yeah, that's the bitch. That's clamp. awesome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it is. I don't actually remember it. I think they only called it that a few times, but yeah. I don't think they called it in the games. I don't know if she, I don't know what her, her finisher might have been the Jazz Stinger in the games, like the X Factor. It should be the bitch clamp. <laughs> yeah, bitch clamp is cool. <laughs> yeah, so beat her in the match. Trish never stood a chance and then beat the shit out of her afterwards, too. Yeah, cool. Okay, cool. Uh, Bat Stage segment. God damn it. <laughs> Vince, his evolution is complete. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to talk me out of this. This dude's like you perfect cell it. now, dude. I'm resolved that this is what I have to do. Believe me, if there was any other way, I would do it. I know this is not logical. I know this is not normal. But it's something you that said, has to be done. This is not normal. Yeah. <laughs> when you care, like I care, if you care that much, you'll do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can feel it now. He starts making yeah. a weird monkey face. <laughs> it's starting yeah. to feel good. <laughs> it's feel real good. And then the promo ends with Lawler saying, This is weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it is. He's coming Vince. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So WWF overdrive of the night. Jericho hits Kurt Angle with a ring bell by accident, meaning to hit the rock. And then the rock hits the rock bottom on Jericho and he beats him on Raw. Very upset that you ignored that this was brought to you by Greyhound Bus. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. You know what? I totally forgot it was Greyhound Bus because Overdrive of the Night was just a dog talking to me. <laughs> a dog? A dog in a shirt? <laughs> I didn't even put two and two together. At that point, I think I blacked out. I saw the dog talking to me, and then I saw Jericho with the that, ring bell. Yeah, the ring bell, the Vince promo, and a dog talking to you in a shirt, working on fucking power tools. Yeah, shit's fucked up. cars exploding in the background. Yeah, maybe you should have got this dog to work on the car. <laughs> We get The Rock versus Kurt Angle. This is a number one contender's number one contender match. <laughs> yes, that's fucking exactly what it was. Jericho comes out here, red pants, a black and red vest, and the WCW and WWF titles. This guy couldn't have been any less over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sadly. <laughs> it's because he doesn't have the girl Tron anymore. He's yeah, got the I ball. know, you're right. You yeah, it all yeah, up. That's true. That's true. I that's true. See, I, it's so weird to say, like, because I don't even believe that. I thought Jericho was sweet. But, like, I was, I, Me too. It was shitty little Johnny was like, okay, he's this is a main event guy. He's got the belt. I he beat bought everybody. it completely. He was yeah. like one of my favorite dudes. Dude, <laughs> he had both the belts. He beat Austin and Rock. He beats everybody. Why is it? I believe Dude, it. Back then, checkerboard pants were super fucking in. They were sweet. Like, yeah. Spinning and around dip with the belts. The dip and all beard? That. Yeah, Ooh, that's all. That was yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. Him spinning around with the belts is like an iconic thing for me. Yeah, me like, too. Like, I, I always love that entrance in the games. So, Rock and Angle get into the ring here. They fight it out a bit before Jericho gets involved on the outside and attacks the yes. Rock. Uh, as Kurt Angle distracts the referee. Jericho says that The Rock's new catchphrase is, why do I keep losing to Chris Jericho again and again and again? I, but I don't, I don't think that's going to catch on. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he, al he also tries to get over Brahma Baby. Brahma Baby. Yeah, yeah Brahma Baby. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, he's Brahma about baby. right. Ooh, no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's going to whoop your fucking ass, yeah. Also, I also I always like Jericho calling him Mitchell Cole. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, the Rock throws Angle over the top rope, and Jericho goes, that... Should have been a disqualification. <laughs> <laughs> WCW rules, baby. The Rock then flips Jericho over the announce table and starts whooping his ass. And then he throws Kurt Angles into his nuts. 
<laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Jericho gets bumped on the announce table, and Rock just grabs Kurt by the head and slams him face first into Jericho's ball sack. <laughs> that's, that's, pretty, nuts. that's pretty sweet. <laughs> so they slam nuts. The Rock hits a spine buster and then locks in the world's worst sharpshooter. As, Angle, as he does. Angle taps to this, but the ref is out. So yeah, he doesn't Jericho see pulled it. the ref out. Undertaker. Yeah, what? Is here what with gold fuck? chain. Gold chain, bandana. Son of a bitch. He chokeslams the rock. It was he almost lost him in the lights, too. He like picked him up, he almost lost him. Kurt Angle then covers the rock and wins his match. Son of a bitch. Kurt uh will now face Austin on Raw to see who faces Jericho at the pay-per-view. I think. Mm -hmm. Backstage segment. Stone Cold is backstage with Coachman. And he's in Coachman shorts. Coachman wants to know what Steve Austin thinks about Kurt Angle. Steve Austin says, what? What? <laughs> what? You remember what I said about Jed? What? <laughs> <laughs> Kurt Angle then goes, stop saying what? <laughs> Dude, this is like the worst sneak attack ever. Kurt Angle tries to sneak attack Austin from the front. <laughs> what <laughs> yeah, the he fuck? Did. He's staring right at you. <laughs> Kurt Angle attacks him. They brawl backstage. Angle hits him in the head with a tray. Locks in the ankle lock. Looks at him while he has the ankle lock locked in. What? What? Dude, what? Kurt Angle is cranking on the ankle lock. What? 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 The referees are trying to stop him. What? What? He's just flipping the fuck out. Tremendous. That's great. We cut to the final of segment bitch. of the evening. <laughs> it cuts to Vince. Praying backstage. <laughs> <laughs> the WWF is going to die. <laughs> I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but the <laughs> WWF has Germania. Yes. There's a Flair, Ric Flair, who I want to die. I want him to die. <laughs> His lines here, though, it's crazy. I only remember these lines. I don't this really is the one I remember the most. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They probably replayed this, this a thousand times. This whole promo, I think, is in the games, too. Like, there's, it's the same way, too. Like, it's yeah. multiple promos. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, um, I think we'll shut your mouth. Yeah. The WWF has cancer because of Ric Flair. Flair's gonna kill it. And the kind of cancer Flair gave the WWF is the slow eating kind of cancer. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> he, he looked that up like he Googled yeah, like types of cancer. Was, yeah. The slow eating one. <laughs> Imagine you go to the doctor and they're like, oh, you got cancer, bro. Oh, what kind of cancer is it? The slow eating kind he of cancer. He says it like that. The slow. He said, I'm not going to let Ric Flair kill what I created. Me. He always call me Rick. <laughs> he pops his head in. <laughs> that guy. Woo. <laughs> you can. He's dancing with Charmel in the back of the promo. <laughs> the WWF is mine. It's mine. I created. I'm not going to let Ric Flair kill what I created because I'm going to kill. What I created. Dude, I, I honestly... I'm gonna kill fucking, it, Tony. <laughs> I honestly fucking thought the first time I ever saw this was, I'm gonna kill Ric Flair. <laughs> <laughs> you call me Rick. <laughs> <laughs> you can always call me Rick. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill my creation. I'm gonna inject the WWF with a lethal dose of poison. If anybody's gonna kill my creation, I'm gonna do it. Me. I wish this promo, if this happened, he like tries to spin around, but it doesn't spin. It's like locked. <laughs> 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 he he pulls spinning the thing in a circle. The, <laughs> he just won't stop. He pulls coming. the thing and it, the, the chair just sinks down. <laughs> <laughs> Me and the N W. Uh, <laughs> says, oh, weird. And then uh, he spins his chair around. And there is deodorant style <laughs> NWO logo on the back of the it's chair. Like the old spice up here, man. Dude, I got what Irish is this? On is, it, <laughs> is it like nail polish? Bait. It's not spray bait. No, it's yeah, I don't think it. Bad. It's got to be something else, right? Is it nail polish or something? Like, I actually don't know what it is, but it's so weird looking. It's f like, and it looks like HWO as well. <laughs> yeah, I thought maybe they would spray paint it, but they didn't. And I, now, you know, what? Have, in my head, we they don't did have any spray, spray paint. paint. Yeah, I thought so. I mean, you would think so, but maybe it's just. I don't know, they made it kind of look like spray paint, but it wasn't at all. Yeah, that was actually the his shoot chair. <laughs> don't fuck up my chair. Don't fuck chair. it up. <laughs> you imagine if it wasn't the NWO, me and the Renegades. 
<laughs> me. And he turns around. It's H H H. Yeah, I'm the chair. <laughs> he can wrestle on both shows when we we're gonna have two brands. Gonna wrestle, I want to kill it by giving you more <laughs> Triple H. Oh, no. <laughs> it's Monday, Thursday, Sunday. No. It's game time. <laughs> and that's your name of the game. <laughs> A lethal dose of Hunter. <laughs> no, not Hunter. If anybody's gonna got- fuck my daughter. Yeah, no, it's gonna be Hunter. me and Triple H. <laughs> and I am going to yeah, <laughs> Stephanie <laughs> <laughs> with Ric Flair. Woo, you can call me Ric whatever you want. You can have Ruby whatever you want, baby. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> Is anybody Gonna kill My creation ah, What I created It's Triple H <laughs> <laughs> And all Of his friends <laughs> Oh man Yeah I mean This I vividly remember Vince this just specifically. Vince, I think the video game Is a big part of this For me Yeah too. probably too But I even I mean I remember it being A big fucking deal to me At the time When this happened I was like Cause I I was on the internet. I was definitely e-fetting by this point, but mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. I don't know how much I was reading the dirt sheets. So maybe there was like hints of it. Like you would go to like no DQ and see the little like article, like oh NWO coming. But you'd always see those. You know what I mean? Like that'd be always the dream right. matches and stuff. Right. The, the magazines would always talk about the dream mm-hmm. matches, and also you never really knew. At least I didn't know because I was a shitty little kid. But like. The NWO and the WWF, the idea of that was like, whoa, that's fucking cool. Yeah, for sure. Hogan wasn't even signed at this point. <laughs> yeah, I, sw- I just actually watched, do you know the the documentary that WWF put out? Obviously, it's a WWE one. The so NWO one? Take it. Yeah, The Revolution, it was called. It was like a uh, shorter one, sure I think. I remember it. And then I, th- I, I, it was, it was either Hall Nash or Hogan, one of the three, said that like the promo with Vince aired and they did like he, it might have been Hogan actually. It said I didn't even know. That was that was gonna happen. Yeah, well, so, shit. Yeah, lines up. Yeah, so like, and but like, so how long is the NWO's run? It's not that long, right? It doesn't feel long. No, Big Show rejoined the NWO on the April twenty second episode of Raw when Flair teamed up with him against Austin, whom Big Show choke slammed. X Pac joined a little earlier. Between that, Hall and Nash brought in X Pac after they turned on Hogan. Flair would recruit Booker T to continue his feud with Austin, and then Booker T. Would join the group too eventually. I don't know what the fuck happened here. Oh, NWO was shortly joined by Ric Flair when he attacked Stone Cold with a chair, and Hall was ejected what out of the, the group and fired from Raw for repeatedly what? dropping the ball on Austin. But in actuality, Hall just asked for his release. So was Flair like leading the NWO or something? That's how that reads. I don't remember that. Uh, it turns out that he injected, <laughs> and then Ric Flair said, <laughs> "You call me Flair." I'm also injected. <laughs> yeah. Maybe there was feuding with Flair. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe it just reads weird. Uh, Booker turned on Gold Dust. Nash returned. I don't know where he went. He just returned. <laughs> uh, and he brought Shawn Michaels into the faction on June 3rd. Then Michaels super kicked Booker T out of the group a week later. Oh, yeah. That was a real weird segment, if you remember back on watching that. Yeah, it was weird. And then Michaels and Nash then set their sights on recruiting Triple H into the NWO, implying they would recreate on screen their old backstage group the click and then the storyline never finished july 8th nash returned to action on raw and then blew his fucking quad oh yeah that's when it really was like all right this is over when nash blew his quad and then july 15th vince came out to the ring to the entrance of the nwo and made the announcement that the group was officially disbanded as eric bischoff became raw gm is that so the same vince night? brought them in and then also the group ended when Vince came out and said, all right, no more NWO. <laughs> Dude, he did that a lot. Same with NXT. He's like, yeah, NXT is over. The, the, <laughs> I don't remember. Vince, Vince did an entrance w- to the NWO theme and shit. And then, yeah. and then I d- said the group is over. <laughs> I do remember that when he said NWO is dead. He's like, yeah, this that's sucks. So We're done. weird. Wow. So yeah, that's, so that was, that's it. That's the entire NWO run there. Like, that, no real major feud after Mania. They just kind of had people, and they were beating up people on Raw, and then they died. Like, uh, j- fucking not even a year. Because this is, what, January? Is the first day, and no, no Way Out's in February, right? February to July. That was the <laughs> whole run. 
Wow, what a show! Uh, yeah, all timer promo yeah. though. Just yeah, absolutely. way more fucked than I remember though. <laughs> it's crazy seeing Vince like go, okay, I can't do this, and he's like, all right, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna fucking yeah. kill my own company. Yeah, die.